Let's take a look at the inside of the Confluence 25 RL and the features that it has. First off, as we mentioned outside, these are your two switches for your 12 volt heating pads on your water tanks. One is going to control your gray water and your black water together and one's going to be for your fresh water. So if it does get that cold at night that you're worried about your tanks freezing, you can always turn on your tank heaters. You also feature your uh, master control panel here, slide rooms, awning. You also have your monitor are going to be right there for your LED readout for your monitors and all your lights and everything are going to be located right there for you. Nice, easy, convenient location when you come in the door. Pleated shades are going to be featured on everything throughout. It's going to be a standard jackknife sofa with fold down centerpiece here with two cup holders in it. And with our jackknife sofas too. You have full storage underneath. This is actually hinged and held up by, magnet, by magnetic catches. So you get easy access underneath that. No more having to lift up the sofa uh, to get storage stuff underneath there as well. So it makes that nice. 39 inch LED TVs are going to be standard as well. Your countertops in your kitchen are going to be one piece Surfex countertops. You have your stereo here, AM, FM, stereo, CD, DVD. It also has HDMI connectivity, Bluetooth as well. Uh, so you can plug in any other iPods or iPhones or your Google Play or any of that can play on there as well. One nice feature about this unit too is a nice big storage door underneath here for you. So you can put lots of stuff in this. Drop-in cooktop with glass cover. Again, this makes a very nice backsplash for you if you're cooking. It also provides more countertop space if you're actually not utilizing the cooktop at all for prep work. It is LED lit with a light on the inside of the oven and it also is a glass front so it doesn't get hot to touch on the outside if you're actually using the oven. Microwave, power vent fan, nice big window in the kitchen too so you can see your campsite. Uh, decorative backsplash and then moving over here to the kitchen. You also have a high rise metal residential faucet, matching sink cover and deep bowl stainless steel sink are all going to be standard features. Well, eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator is going to be standard in here as well. It's going to be a Norcold brand refrigerator, so all your controls are right here on the outside, so it's very easy to control the temperature. It also has auto changeover on it, being gas and electric, so if you're camping uh, or you're on your way to your campground or you're loading up the night before, you can leave it on LP uh, on auto. It'll be on LP. It'll cool all your stuff down while you're making your trip. If your campground does have uh, power and you plug into shore power there, it'll automatically change over to electric for you, so you don't have to worry about keep using your gas. Nice big booth dinette in this model. Gives you plenty of space. It's an 80-inch dinette. You also have storage bins underneath the dinette, 36 inch out, pull out storage tubs on both sides. So that gives you extra storage that's really easy to get to. Uh, if you got stuff in there that you're storing that you're taking outside for cooking or whatever, that's a great place to keep it because you can just take the tub and go right outside with it if you want. All right, moving on to the bathroom. Bathroom is going to feature a very nice 36 inch size shower uh, with skylight, a good pantry, I'm sorry, closet or uh, not a pantry, that'd be a towel for your towels and stuff. Medicine cabinet, window in the bathroom as well, and a 12 volt power van in here as well. And last but not least, porcelain foot flush toilet. Moving on to the master bedroom. Master bedroom is going to feature a 70 by 80 king bed, Serta mattress, two wardrobe closets, one on each side, nice overhead shelf storage. You also are going to feature two 12 volt or dual 12 volt USB ports on each side of the bed, along with dual 110 hookups there as well. And a nice little cubby space and shelf for you for your phones if you have a CPAP machine or anything that you want to plug in up there. 
You're also going to feature TV hookup here in the bedroom. So if you want to add a TV, you can add one later. And last but not least, you have the King Wi-Fi, which the trailer is Wi-Fi prepped. So what you would need is, would be a router that would plug into this. It's already set up, and then you can just hook up to any Wi-Fi signal that you got and make your own secure network inside your own trailer. And last but not least, full storage underneath your bed that's strutted and all the seat bases and bed bases to all of those confluence units are going to have plywood, not OSB or particle board.